I know you no, love bring, these chocolates, and we're going to talk to a doctor who's an expert on working with phobias. <laughs> I don't know. I think she's kind of, she's motivated me. Can you, can you stop yourself? Well, no. I don't have to. You're the one doing the segment. <laughs> I love chocolate. I all right, all right. Chocolate. Well, here's the deal. We have Dr. James Zerlocker mm -hmm. in the house, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go on over there. He's going to show us. How to avoid this stuff. All right. I dare you. I know you can. I dare you. No. Come I just on. want that white no, one. Right? No, no, no. Just, just the white chocolate. No, no. Can't Come on. I bet you. It's the holiday. No. That'd be your gift to me. If you can keep me from doing this, you're the man. Phobias and how to avoid chocolate. And Terry, I dare you to get through this without touching <laughs> that chocolate. I'm going to try. If not, I have help, that's for sure. Phobias, anxieties, addictions, and fears, if you have any of those, you are in luck this morning because there is some help on the way. This is a book called Freedom from Fear Forever, written by Dr. James Durlocker. He joins us this morning. Now, thank you for joining us, first of all. You're welcome. Now, you've been on the show before, and we've talked about phobias, but today we're talking more about anxieties, and it is that time of the year where a lot of people are tempted with a lot of little treats, for example, chocolate. Yes. How do we avoid them? Give us one clear-cut rule to follow, or is there one? Well, is that, there's no, more than one clear-cut rule, but during this time of the year, <clears throat> we're all going and, and indulge ourselves in food and, and our favorite uh, treats, uh, mm -hmm. like chocolate and things like that. And they're all around. And uh, uh, some of us want to avoid that. But then after the holidays are over, after we've gained four or five pounds. Mm, five to seven, as Denise says, yes. Yeah. And uh, then we are standing in front of the refrigerator and saying, why am I here? Well, I'm not even hungry, but I'm looking for this food. And the, the answer is that we're addicted to food to satisfy our needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, food acts as a tranquilizer. And uh, what we want to do is to, how do we know we're addicted to this? Well, we're addicted if we can't just take one. Uh -huh. uh, okay. If we have to eat the whole box. Okay. Or, or we eat so fast that we don't even enjoy it. Right. Things of that nature. And my practice, uh, this is one of the most common things I see in my practice, is that addiction to food and other things of this nature. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to do is to uh, ask uh, uh, our girls over here how, uh, what, what their idea of addiction is. Well, actually, let, let me preface all of that by, first of all, introducing them. We have Heather Henningway and Denise Naughton. Could, could you guys come in just a little bit? Thank you. Now, Heather, you, you'll be interested. Let's give you a little background here, Doctor. Right. Heather, you have... A drawer at your desk. Heather's one of our overnight producers for Good Morning Arizona. Tell me what's inside that drawer, Heather. A whole huge bag full of M&Ms, and I keep it stocked. Really? What happens? What happens if you don't have them? I go to the vending machines and get them. You have to have them there. I have to have M&Ms pretty much daily. Really? Yeah. Like, and I try to, you know, only have a certain amount, and I'm okay at it, but I'm not very good at it. I do, you know, line them up by color and just eat them. Yeah. I don't mean to make light of this, but all of a sudden I feel like Sally Jesse Hell <laughs> here. Really, addicted to M&Ms and the doctors who can help them. All right, Denise, uh, tell me, what is it with your chocolate phobia? It's just, it's more, it's hard for me to pass it up. Like, I see the M&Ms on Heather's desk, and I walk past, you know, taking okay. strips and stuff, and it's just hard to, like, it, for me to see them sitting there, and, you know, I want to take them. So okay. I all generally right. don't, because I know she could. Yeah. She'll get <laughs> <laughs> Heather. Okay, so if I, if I put this bowl of chocolate in front of you, Heather. Do you want one? Oh, heck yeah. Oh. Will you take one? May I? Yeah. Mm. Not right now. Okay. Oh. Doctor says no. no. Denise, are you yeah. tempted? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. On All a right. scale of uh, one to ten, I'm uh, ask them how high they are. Okay. How high? One to ten. Ten being the most. i got to have it. Got to have it. I Probably about a seven. Okay. And Heather? An eight. An eight? Yeah. I mean, I see it in front of me. Truthfully. Truthfully, I see it in front of me. I want to eat it. Not an eight. You're a 10, girly. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's the deal. Doctor, here's the chocolate. Thank you. The doctor is going to take Heather and Denise off to the side. He is going to work with them, bring you all back later in the show, and then we're going to talk again and see how you feel about your chocolate addiction. Fair enough? Fair but enough. Earlier in the segment, earlier in the show today, we were talking with Dr. James Durlocker and our two, well, volunteers this morning. We're talking about addiction, and our volunteers have an addiction to cho chocolate. Doctor has had an opportunity to work with them over the last, how long would you say? Oh, about 13, 14 minutes. Okay, to be exact. <laughs> okay. 
Now, Heather, who has a drawer full of M&Ms at her desk every given moment here at News Channel 3. Do you want chocolate, Heather? Not at the moment. No. Are you sure? Yeah. You're kidding me. No. I, I'm, I will let you have a piece of chocolate. You can have all the chocolate you want. No, thanks. No? No. All right. What's that, Denise? No, not really. Actually, the other food back here smells better. Okay. Now, they walk in the studio. Okay. Scott will. Scott will take care of that for you. And I said, what do you guys think? You said you feel different? I feel calmer, and I'm definitely craving more vegetables. I know that sounds really funny, but and, yeah. And this is it. This is honest. This, this is, is honest. I'm not faking heart. it. Honest. Yeah, actually. I mean, I'm still hungry. Right. But I'm not hungry craving sweets. So if I offer you this, then... not really. No. Oh. What did you do? Hey, what we did is balance the energies in their in their uh, bodies, and uh, it's very simple. It's not a matter of uh, willpower because most people don't have any willpower. Right. It's a matter of balancing energies in the body so that and we use their energies to take away all of the anxiety that they had that was causing them to eat the chocolate uh, or whatever else we could do with whether it be chocolate or ice cream or food or overeating or whatever it happened to be. And by tapping on specific acupuncture points, uh, with Heather we had her tap up here on, her, on the top of her chest, with uh, oh, really? Denise we had her tap up uh, by her uh, bridge of her nose, and then we had her go through a, what we call brain balance, where we tapped on the back of the hand, like that, while they had their eyes open, closed, we looked down to the left, looked down to the right, roll our eyes around, hum and count and hum, which balances left and right brain. So it says, <clears throat> look, imagination uh, and logic get together, and I really don't need this. Okay. It's well, so simple. It, it sounds simple, and it sounds a little crazy, too. Did you think, what in the world is going on here when he started working with you? Not really. Uh, it was somewhat comforting. Okay. All right. Well, here's the idea now. Um, Doctor, you have a book out. And uh, oh, I also have a number on our uh, hotline if you are interested in learning how to do this yourself. There you go. 241-6369. And uh, really, um, Dr. James Durlocker had about 15 or less than that minutes to work with the girls, and uh, they feel that there's been a change. So if you want to check it out for yourself, it's called Freedom from fear forever, and it's very interesting, and thank you for, uh, well, thank for joining you. us today. Thank you. I certainly appreciate it.